In this video, Trader is gonna look at how does fear impact your trading? Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. All right, so fear is potentially a big thing. And do you know what? As traders, many of us go, you're not scared. No, I'm not scared of anything. I'm not frightened of it. But actually, when we are very self-aware, there are definitely some things that we are frightened of. And fear, you know, it's a broad word. It's not so we're saying, oh, you know, there's a monster coming out of the uh, under the bed type fear. But, you know, none of us wants, for example, Nobody wants to lose an account. We all fear losing an account. We all fear being caught on the wrong side of a massive move and can't get out of it. So let's quantify what we mean by fear, how we define fear in the trading world. And there's a couple of things straight off the bat, guys. You know, number one, our account going to zero and wiping us out. Number two, being caught out by a bad trade. Number three, making another losing trade. You might have made a losing trade, a couple of losing trades, and they don't make another one. Four might be extending the string of losers. Five might be hitting your daily stop out for the day. Look at these ones, just five straight off the bat. We'll go to some more depth in a moment in a moment. But these may well be sitting in your subconscious mind and saying to you, oh, don't take this trade because um, you might lose. And so what we start to do then, this is the point, this is which one I'm going to get to, guys, is that we start to adapt things that we believe in real time is helping our trading. So let's look at that example of fear of loss. Right, you fear of making another losing trade. So what do you do? A couple of things you do. You might go, right, I'm going to tighten my stop up because of course that means less risk, right? Instead of risking a thousand bucks, I can risk 700 bucks or whatever the number may be. And so you start to do that. You think that you're, you think you're doing something to mitigate the fear. Well, I don't want to lose a thousand, I lose 700. But all you end up doing is ruining what is probably a good strategy because you're moving your stop to a place that means you're going to get stopped out more frequently because it's closer. So actually the risk is almost greater. And so you end up undoing all the good work you've done. And you might even get things where, you know, you might say, okay, well, actually, uh, I'm scared of losing on this trade. I'll just take it with a small size. Just take it with a small size. And listen, we're all guilty of some of these in some way or another. This is not a, a lecture per se. It's a sharing of information, sharing of how we feel about trading. And I know myself, I've, I've got caught in situations where trade's looking good and I've just gone, oh, I'll just, I just won't take it full size on this one. I'll, and ends up being a great trade and, and fear of maybe giving back gains for the day or giving back gains towards the end of the month or, or, or stamping the quarter on a high note, whatever, means that you aren't trading with consistency and that trade might be a winner. So it's the fear of loss ends up adjusting our trading strategy and style. And if that is allowed to happen in real time, what happens? It ends up making our trading bad. We're trading from an emotional perspective. We might not even associate fears. Why use the word fear, guys? We don't associate the word fear with this. But we don't want to experience it, and so we end up doing something that's negatively impacting our trading without realizing it, like moving that stop a little bit tighter, like trading smaller size when it's a proper, decent trade that should be traded with full size. I'm not saying we shouldn't adjust position size depending on trades if that's part of the plan, but it's on the fly going, oh, well, I don't quite fancy it. I might do this, I might do that. Okay, the other thing is, guys, Forget how fear comes in. As a loss is a big one. Again, you know, we, we fear about loss losing the account, fear about the loss of, of money in whatever format it is. And, and we just gave some examples of things that we might do. Another one, guys, is things like fear of missing out of the trade. We talked about FOMO loads. You know, you fear you're gonna miss a big move. You fear that um, a great trade will set up and you'll miss it. And that's not necessarily fear of missing the move, that's fear of feeling frustration for not being on a trade that you have uh, kind of pre-planned, if you like. It's not the missing out, no one cares about that per se, it's the feeling of it that's gonna bother you. So, and it's probably the same with the, with the, with the loss. I mean, you don't want to lose money, but it's the fear of feeling that you've lost that money that's really the big thing that you're trying to avoid the most. So just be careful with fear, guys. Just be cautious. Just trade from a, accept the risk on things you're doing and say, listen, I'm accepting the risk. And if you can't accept the risk, then adjust it in the strategy later on and say, well, actually, you know what? I don't want to risk this amount of money. I'm not comfortable losing that. Get to a point where I'm comfortable losing that. Here's my trade. I'm going to take my trade. I do not fear the outcome. I do not fear anything adverse happening to me. Now, of course, 
you might well have a small fear of something going completely wrong in the trade and just falling through the floor. You can't get out, your stop doesn't get filled, but that's not gonna affect you. You're not gonna think of that all the time. No one fears getting involved in a car crash every time they go in a car. You know, it just doesn't happen. And so you're not gonna fear that. But if you're fearing losing every time you go into a trade, then the risk is wrong, the size is wrong. You need to make adjustments so you can eliminate this fear because that would just go to we'll repeat ourselves but when you do feel it you don't want to lose money you don't want to get stopped out you don't want to do this don't want to do that you end up making the adjustments anyway and you end up making them on the fly you end up making them from an emotional perspective rather than making them adjustments when the screens are off you've got your notepad there you're writing it down saying okay well i don't really want to lose that amount of money what am i comfortable with okay this you dial your size down you adjust your strategy you change what you trade the frequency of your trade the number of your trades total loss limit on the day the week the month etc to a comfortable level so that fear then doesn't dictate your trading decisions in the trading day. All right, guys, see you next one. Take care. Keep your risk managed, whatever you do. Bye-bye.